What's up everyone? Today we'll create this virtual keyboard using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. This keyboard contains numbers from 0 to 9. All the letters. The delete button, the shift button, and lastly the space button. Here we can use shift to uppercase and lowercase the letters. Let's type hello world. We can use space to space out the words. We can also delete the words. Let's type something else. So if you're curious to know how to create this cool virtual keyboard make sure to stick to the end. Before we continue the tutorial you can find the source code in the video description. Don't forget to link the CSS and JavaScript. Also don't forget to add defer. We use defer because it makes the HTML load before JavaScript. Now let's continue with the HTML first. Let's create a container div. Inside create a div with the class of text area and inside of that create a text area element. Next to text area div let's create a div with the class of keyboard. So the keys will be separated into rows. Let's create a div with the class of row and inside this row we'll add buttons. Here I will add the delete button, also give it a class of delete. All the other buttons will have a class of BTN. Let's create the other rows. Here will be the shift button and give it a class of shift. And the last row will contain the space button only. Don't forget to give it a class of space. Now let's open the browser so we can see what we have. So basically this is what we have at the moment. The numbers. The delete button, the letters, the shift and space buttons. Now let's jump to the CSS. I added a margin and padding of 0 to all the elements. A box sizing of border box and change the font to poppins. I use CSS grid to center everything. 
Now let's select the keyboard. Keyboard will have a display of flex. Flex direction of column and align items of center. So here is what we have now. All the buttons have been centered vertically. Next let's select the buttons. Let's add an RGB background color. A border of none. A display of inline block. A padding of 0.5 rem 1 rem. A margin of 0.3 rem, a font size of 1.3 rem. A white color, a width of 50%. A height of 50%, a border radius of 0.5 rem. I meant 50 pixel for width and height. And here's what we have right now. Let's fix the function keys. Select the delete, shift and space buttons. Add a font size of 1 rem and a text transform of capitalize. Now let's select each key individually and add a fixed width to each one. And here's what we have now. We're done with the keyboard layout. Next let's select the text area div. Give it a width of 100%. A display of flex, justify content of center and a margin bottom of 2 rem. This will center it. Next let's select the text area element. Give it a width of 100%, a height of 150 pixel, resize of none, padding of 0.5 rem, a font size 1.2 rem, an outline of none. A border of 2 pixels solid and the RGB color we use for the buttons. And lastly a border radius of 0.5 rem. And it should look like this now. Let's also create a class called Upper. This will have a text transform of uppercase. Basically when we click the shift this class Upper will get added to each button and they will become uppercased. Now let's jump to everyone's favorite, JavaScript. Before we continue with the JS. Make sure to click the subscribe button so you won't miss the useful content like this one which I upload every single day in this channel. Also click the like button so I know that you liked the video. And comment down below if you need anything since I answer all the questions. Let's go back to the tutorial. Now let's select all the buttons in text area. Remember that this will only select the buttons with the class of BTN and not the delete. Shift and space buttons. So for each button let's add a click event.
On click we want to add the btn.inner text to the text area value, which in short terms means add whichever button we type to the text area. Next let's select the delete, shift and space buttons. Let's add a click event to the delete BTN. So first, let's create an empty array called chars. This array will be equal to text area value dot split, which basically gets all the characters in the text area and splits them to each individual letter and adds them to this array. Let's log it to console. You can see everything we type will be added to this array. So when we click the delete button we want to delete the last item of the array. We'll do that with the pop method, which removes the last item of an array. After that text area value will be equal to chars array.join. Let's try it. I'll type some letters and you can see we can delete them. Next let's add a click event to the space. So like we removed the last item of an array. Now we want to add a space to it. We'll do that with push method which pushes an item to the end of an array, in our case a space. After that just add that array to text area value. And let's give it a try. I'll type hello, space, world. Let's type more. Next let's add a click event to the shift btn. So when we click the shift we want the letter to become uppercase. Basically we'll add the upper class we created to each button.
So inside the function for each button toggle a class list which in our case it is upper. This should work. When we click it you can see the letters become uppercase. Let's type hello world. Let's delete this and type something else. So, thank you for watching and see you next time.